In this episode of NCAP TV, we're going to talk to you about the beginning of Release It, where it all started, and really how encapsulation got started in our industry. It's an interesting story, so stay tuned. So today on NCAP TV, I wanted to share with you the Release It story. My name is Rick Jolinas, also known as the NCAP Man got that nickname because I was the one that brought encapsulation to the forefront of our industry way back around 2000, beginning of 2000s. Now some of these technologies had existed prior, but that's where it really all kind of came together. My background though, I started a commercial cleaning business back in 1982. Then in 1983, a friend of mine introduced me to commercial carpet cleaning. He had some jobs that he wanted to subcontract to me. And from there, I began to really get involved with commercial carpet cleaning. Now, in those early years, it was frustrating. I had a lot of problems with wicking. As you know, wicking can be very common with commercial carpet. And I found that nothing was very efficient. Initially, we were doing a two-step process of shampooing and extraction. Carpets would turn out good, but then typically a lot of wicking would occur. We were doing a lot of commercial glue down carpet, particularly in retail stores and malls. That was really where I did a lot of my work all through the early years of commercial carpet cleaning. So we tried various extractors, tried Host, tried Von Schrader, tried bonnet cleaning, CFR machines, RX20, uh, finally got to the Chemstractor. Really, we tried everything. I'd keep going back to my suppliers and they'd say, try this, try this, try this. And I would, I would try everything because I was trying to find a way to build a system that we could get consistent results. And everything kept coming up short, kept running into problems, and at the very least, it was just not efficient. No efficient way to clean commercial carpet on a consistent basis until we discovered encapsulation. So we've moved through the 80s, we've moved through the 90s, now we're up to right around 2000, and at that point I was using a Chemstractor machine, which is a rotary extraction machine. And I began to dabble with encapsulation type chemicals that would polymerize. Now, the old shampoo methods that have been around since way back, they didn't really encapsulate very well. They, they didn't do what we think of in modern terms as far as encapsulation goes. So my initial thought was I was gonna build a monster chemstractor machine by taking a Cymex, which had been around since the 30s, and put an extraction system on there and get like a, a, a supercharged chemstractor style machine. But what I discovered that by taking the Cymex machine and putting it together with newer formulations of encapsulation, I could get it to a system that didn't really require the extraction ring like you'd have on a chemstractor machine we could nail encapsulation. So by taking something that had the power of scrubbing that we had with the Cymex and putting it together with really good, newer developed encapsulation technologies, we could merge a, a, a system that would truly accomplish what I was looking for. I wanted something simple, something that would accomplish consistent results without leaving uh, problems that would come back afterwards like callbacks and wicking and, and all the stuff that we had dealt with for the last 17 years that I've been cleaning commercial carpet. So at that point I discovered a way to accomplish that. Really it was just a simple goal. The thought was we're dealing with a short piece of carpet fiber, synthetic fiber. Commercial carpet is typically synthetic fiber glued to the floor and it's short. And I came to appreciate that we didn't need a huge volume of liquid to get that clean. A low moisture method should be sufficient if we had a polymer that was capable of holding that soil in suspension so that it could be recovered during the post vacuuming process. And that's the path that I went down as I began to explore how we could develop a product like Release It. I was able to get in contact with a company that had some very good chemists that had been around for a long time and they had a lot of experience with carpet cleaning chemicals. I worked with them as well as went to the industry and looked for raw ingredients that would complement what we wanted to achieve. And we found a vendor that manufactured polymers and they had a particular polymer that was very robust and really something that had been recently developed for carpet cleaning. So we took that vendor's product and then we went to a secondary vendor that also has polymers and fluorochemicals and we merged these two things together. So we took our primary robust polymer and some boutique items from a secondary 
uh, company that also builds these types of polymers and we merged it together to come up with a formula which actually created the backbone for release it and that's how release it performs the way it does it's because of that polymer blend as well as the fluorochemical technology that we have in there and what we want to achieve with that is a product that can very simply pull soil absorb soil attract soil into the polymer and hold it in suspension so that the post vacuuming process can then pull that soil out during the normal routine of vacuuming. Additionally, we want something that's going to resist soil. So we've got that. We've got with Release It a product that pulls soil, holds it in suspension, and resists resoiling. We feel we've really achieved something special, and from there, we have the backbone for what builds the Release It product line. We believe carpet cleaning should be simple, problem-free, profitable. Basically what we feel carpet cleaning should be, what I believed right along with my experience, my background in commercial carpet cleaning is that we want to achieve results that are consistent. So we can build a system that technicians can get out there and produce consistent results without a lot of hand holding, without a lot of going back and fixing problems. And so that's what we've achieved with Release It and we feel it's a win-win. It's a win for your customers, for their buildings, so that they can enjoy living and working in a cleaner building and you as the carpet cleaning contractor can also enjoy the win in the sense that you've got something simple to offer that's profitable that works that makes sense and that's what we do here at release that we stand behind the idea of providing a product for you that can help you achieve those goals and that's why we enjoy the reputation that we do it's a reputation that's built on rock solid performance We've continued to pioneer encapsulation and grow this through the industry, and we're going to continue to do that. We're going to continue to develop this process, make it better all the time, and help you max your end cap. That's what we do here at Release It and Excellent Supply. We appreciate you watching. If there's anything we can do to help you grow your business, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. And share your comments below, too. Hit the like button and subscribe. We appreciate it when you do that, too. Until next time, thanks for watching NCAP TV.